Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon and in this weekly video tip we're going to talk about markers. As you can see here at the top of my screen I have four markers set up and you simply can set markers by clicking up here in this marker area with your mouse and it sets them. You can also use this tool down here and as the song plays and the progress indicator moves then the marker will be placed at the point of the progress indicator. So those are two different ways you can set your markers. Specifically though what I really wanted to talk about are how you can customize these markers and so let's go ahead and take a look at that. If you put your mouse over top of a marker and right click on it you'll see several things here. First of all it shows you the positioning of the marker. If you select the edit menu from here you can actually type in a full name or a description so you could put um, chorus for example if that's when the chorus started you can actually change the position of the marker by typing in a different time frame here and by the way this is in seconds so we could type in 70.00 and it will move the marker and as you can see here we could also change the color so by default they're blue we could change this one to red for example so when we click yes it's going to show chorus it's going to show 70 seconds rather than 66 so it should slide slightly to the right and it will become red and indeed that's what we have here now the word chorus is pretty small here and one of the other features you can do by right clicking is that you can go down here to the font size and you can change the font size so in this case we're showing a font size of 10 if we wanted to go to 16 for example now you can see that all of the markers are a lot larger and the word chorus here is a lot more readable at least to my old eyes. So that's another way in which you can customize or edit these particular markers on your screen. The other thing that you can do is you can see when I mouse over here it drops a tail and that sometimes is helpful as you slide markers left and right and want to get them more precisely set. Some people though like to have those tails permanently appear on the screen and you can also do that by going down here going to show tail and selecting it and if you go back and now look what you'll see is that there's a checkbox showing you that the option to show tails has been selected but what you see here is that all of the markers now show tails so the white line extends down through the graphing area so you can see more precisely where each marker is placed so those are several ways in which you can customize the markers that are on your screen. A couple of other options here that I haven't really talked about yet is of course if you wanted to delete you can select delete and it will delete either the single marker that you've right clicked or if you select delete all it will delete all of the markers from your screen. Let's just select this first one delete and it removes this marker number three here. The last thing then that I want to do is just to remind you that if you would like to jump between markers we have these jump to buttons here so in this particular case if we click the back button you can see the white progress indicator here will jump backwards each time until we're back to the first marker and of course you can jump forward just as easily so with that we'll conclude this training video on how to use and customize the markers in Song Surgeon thanks for watching bye